Hi guys, welcome back to Soft Asia Day. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can create category specific posts into your blog page. You can see I have added there all of my posts and here I have divided them into categories. I have created three categories, advice, care and after care. And you can see it was working like that. You can also add only a specific category post into your page. So how you do that? For this, first you have to log into your dashboard. Now you have successfully logged into your dashboard. I will do this with two steps. But first of all, you have to go to posts. Here you can see I have these seven posts and all of one are categorized. You can see after care category, the care category and the advice category. Now to categorize them into blog post, I will go to pages and click on add new. I will name this page to blog and publish page. Now the page was published. Now click on edit with Elementor. Now you are on Elementor editor. For this tutorial, I will use two methods. For the method one, I will use tabs. So how I use tabs and create category specific posts. For this first you have to add this post widget into your section. Now this will show all your posts. Here you can see post per page. I will show all my seven posts. Now I will go to query. Here I will include a term and categorize it by a category. I will create, uh, let me say, I will create it here category. Now it will show only care category specific post. If you want only a specific category post to show on your blog page, so you can select a single category. Let me update this page and preview this page. Now you can see it will show only the care category post. If you want two or three categories at a uh, same place, so you can add them like that. Paste the category name here. I will use care and after care post. So it will show all my four posts that I have in these two categories. But what if you want a specific category that I have showed you? So for this, you have to select a category here and now what I will do, I will right click on their editor and save this widget as a global widget. Now I will name it one or I, I will name it care for the care category and save the global widget. Now you can see the global widget was saved. Now I will edit it, unlink the global widget. And now I will go back to query and change the category. Now I will change it to after care. Now all the after care category posts appear there. Now I will save global widget again and name it after care. Save the widget. Now I will edit this widget again and unlink from the global. Now I will select third category. I will delete this aftercare category and add advice category here. Now again I will save it as a global widget. Name it advice. and save the changes. Now all three global widgets was added. Now I will delete this post widget, go to my widgets and I will search tabs. Drag tabs widget into your section and here you can see you have two tabs. I will make them three like that and now I will go to my dashboard. 
now go to elementor templates and then i will go to global widgets here you can see the global widget of next to the save templates page section and then global widget click on global widget and here you can see there are your global widgets now first of all i want to add advice category post into first tab so i will copy this go to my editor and here in the content section i will paste this short code now i will rename it to advice now for the second tab i will add this after care post so i will copy this short code go back to editor go to second tab and paste this short code here now i will name it advice now there is after care now for the third one i will add care category post so i will copy this text and paste the short code here and rename it care now i will add another category now i will add another tab which show all the posts so for this first you have to again add post widget and select all your seven posts you can select any of number that you have and now i will save it as a global header again i will call it all and save the global head widget now i will delete this section and go back to my global widgets refresh this page and here you can see all global widget copy this short code go to your editor edit the tabs and add new tab drag it to the first one rename it to all and paste your short code here now collapse this one and you can align it to center then the their names was appear in center now i will drag this care to the third number now you can style the tabs as per your requirements and update the page now your page was successfully updated to take a live preview click on this i button and it will take you to this page wait until it loads now click on all and here you can see all of your posts when you click on advice and your advice category post will appear click on care and the care category post will appear and after care and then your after care post was appear like that now go back to all now i will go back to my page and delete this one now i will go to second step for the second step first of all i will go to elementor dashboard hover over appearance and click on menus now here i will create a new menu and name it categories click on create menu now add this blog page click on add menu and categories select all categories and add into menu now arrange it i will take care to the top and here in blog i will rename it to all now click on save menu i will delete this all section yes i want to add just care advice and category and save the menus now go back to your page first of all select nav menu but keep in mind this nav menu only works in elementor pro select your menus menu is not appearing here just refresh the page reload it now delete it again search nav menu and here is category menus was selected make them center aligned under it i will add this post section now 
Now update the page and preview the page. Now you can see all of your posts under the categories menu. But when you click on categories, it will take you to another page and show all the category posts. So I will filterize these posts with categories. For this, you have to go back to your dashboard. Go to Elementor templates and click on theme builder. Now go to archive and click on add new archive. Now cross this template section. Now go back to your page and copy these widgets to your archive page. I will copy this one and paste it here. Now I will copy it again and paste it here. Now click on publish, click on add condition and include all archives, save and close. Now when you visit your live site, you will find these categories works. Now here click on here, it will not redirect you to another page, you will stay on same page. But these categories are not filterizing your posts. When you click on advice, it will show all of your posts there. You can see all of your 7 posts. Now I will go back to my archive and check 7 here so to show all my posts and then update it. Now I will click on aftercare and the same issue here only is category specific. For this I will go back to edit my post. Now I will edit this post section and I will collapse the layout and go to query. Here in the source I will select current query and update the page. Now to take a live preview click on this eye button. Now click on care. Here you will find only the post that was stored in the care category will appear. When you click on advice, it will show only advice category post. And now I will click on aftercare. It will show me only the aftercare category posts. That's how you can add category specific posts into your blog in Elementor. I have showed you two methods. First one is using the global widgets and second one is use the archive query. Hope you learned something new in this tutorial. If so, please like this video and if you want more videos like that, Please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notifications about future updates. Thanks for watching.